of Drugs and Society students, you have received an email from me inviting you to join our class shared Google Drive folder. And I just wanted to show you how to add that folder to your drive. This will make it easy for you to access this material anytime that you need it. So this is what the email looks like and it's very easy. You just click on open. When you click on open, you'll see this page in your Google Drive. If you're not signed into your UNI account, uh, you'll get a thing that says you don't have access and you'll need to switch access. And I have a video and information about how to switch access um, on the main page in eLearning. So check that out if you have problems. I won't give this folder access to your personal drive, only your UNI account. So you have to use your UNI account to get into this. So once you're in this folder, um, you can see a few things. You can see the syllabus. Uh, um, you can see our textbook and some other assignments and so forth that we'll be using throughout the class. And I'll, pro I'll add to this folder throughout the semester as we get to more and more material. If you can't find this email, another place where you can find this link is in your shared with me. Um, so if you click on item shared with me, you'll see this page and you'll be able to find the item somewhere in this list. It depends on how long it's been. But either way, whether you click on the email or you click on this link, this is what you'll see. Now, the first thing you need to do is add this folder to your drive so that you'll just find it um, on your main page anytime you need it. And so just go up here to the title of our course and click on the down arrow and just click Add Shortcut to Drive. And here you can just add shortcut to drive and click this button. If you have a lot of stuff in your drive and you have a different way that you like to organize things, you can also click on my drive and you can uh, find a folder. Like here I have UNI stuff. I could add it here. Right? But for my purposes, I'm just going to add it to my main drive. So add shortcut. And when you add shortcut, and you go to your main My Drive page, you'll just see it right here. And I did add a star um, icon to the folder so that this will always show up at the top or bottom of your folder list. Um, so, you know, you can move this up and down arrow to organize differently, but you can see when I have it um, in this format, uh, reverse sort direction, this folder's at the top. If I do it the other way, which says it's um, the other, the opposite direction, right? Yeah, find it at the bottom. So one way or another, you can find it at the top or bottom of your list because it starts with a star. The other thing you might want to do is change the color of the folder to make it easy to find. And you just right click on the title and then go down here to change color. And I'm just going to pick red. And then uh, this is another way to make this folder really stand out and make it easy for you to find. So let's say that as the semester gets busier and your Google Drive gets more and more filled up, let's say you want to change how you organize things and you want to put this um, our class folder in some other folder. That's very easy to do. You just right click on the title and then go down here and move to. And let's say I wanted to move it to my UNI stuff. Right? I just click on that folder and say move here. And you can see that the folder has disappeared from this list. It's now in my UNI stuff. And again, it's right here at the top. Uh, so, you know, either way, or you change your mind and you want to put it back, you can move to and then just go back to your main drive. So this system works really easily. You'll be able to find the link anytime. Um, also, if for some reason you make multiple links, let's say you put it here and then you also put it in your UNI folder, you don't have to worry that you're working with different copies of the folder. They're, it's all the same copy. Uh, so you don't have to worry about different versions or anything like that. All right, so once this is in your folder, you're set to go. Uh, don't forget when you're done with this to go back to e-learning. There will be a quiz for you to complete to say that you have completed this task, and then you can move on to whatever is next in the module.